On this vote, the ayes are 50, the nays are 48. The nomination of Brett M. Kavanaugh of Maryland to be an associate justice of the Supreme Court of the United States is confirmed. The Senate has voted to confirm Brett Kavanaugh to the U.S. Supreme Court 5048, cementing a conservative majority on the bench and ending a highly charged confirmation process that has only divided Americans. Demonstrators disrupted the Senate from the gallery during the final vote several times, while mass protests erupted outside. The eyes of a riveted nation were on Capitol Hill all day as Kavanaugh appeared headed for a lifetime job on the highest court. After an ugly battle over Kavanaugh's nomination that gripped the country and left the Republican and Democratic parties poisonously divided, I'm not just here for me. winning confirmation was near certain as crucial senators announced Friday they'd vote yes, despite accusations of sexual misconduct leveled against the judge. Brett Kavanaugh will work to lessen the divisions in the Supreme Court so that we have far fewer 5-4 decisions. Mr. President, I will vote to confirm Judge Kavanaugh. Protesters flooded the halls of the Senate, chanted outside the Supreme Court, and swarmed the streets of D.C. today, vowing rage in the November midterm elections, in which Democrats are trying to take control of Congress from the Republicans. Demonstrators using their cancel Kavanaugh hashtag in a last-ditch effort to convince their senators to vote no are pledging the fight is far from over. I think there's going to be a huge consequence for Republicans on November 6th. They're really going to pay the price for this decision. This was a very short-sighted decision. Democratic members of the Senate forced an overnight debate on the Senate floor ahead of the vote to continue to voice their opposition, even as their defeat looked more and more likely. Today, in just a few hours, the United States Senate is going to turn its back on righteousness. It's going to turn its back on fairness and reason. Kavanaugh's confirmation hands Donald Trump a clear victory, shaping the landscape of the federal judiciary. He tips the balance on the courts to a 5-4 majority in favor of conservatives over contentious issues, such as abortion access for women, immigration, and Trump's attempt to ban transgender people from the U.S. military. Obama appointed Supreme Court Justice Elena Kagan stressed the need for the court to remain impartial while speaking at Princeton University on Friday. This is a really divided time and um, part of the court's strength and, and part of the court's legitimacy depends on people not seeing the court in the way that people see uh, the rest of the governing structures of this country now. Still opponents of Kavanaugh say they won't go quietly. The Women's March organized for hundreds of protesters to climb over the police barriers and storm the Capitol steps today while chanting, vote them out. They assume over 200 people were arrested doing so. And now they say they're just going to bring their rage to the polls in November.